Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video. Three Halloweenish films left to review. That's right. And as I teased in, well, yeah, the fourth to last, um, yep, you read the title of what I'm reviewing, and that being the fourth and final film in the franchise. You know, the closing chapter, basically. Hotel Transylvania 4, Transformania. Yep, so the fourth and final Hotel Transylvania film, um, and this, yeah, because of this being the last, and I remember, because when this was announced, of course, and, uh, you know, um, I remember, like, say it was gonna be, like, I think, like, like, the original, I can't remember the original release date, but... I do know that, uh, like, oh, oh, I think it, maybe it was the original release date. I can't remember, but it was, like, slated for a holiday release, like, around Christmas. Like, okay. I was kind of thinking, oh, my gosh, is this going to be set during Christmas? Like, that'd be interesting. <laughs> they, like, in the third one, we had them on a cruise ship, so possibly if they did Christmas? Okay, that, that'd be interesting. But, of course, like, the, the release date changed a couple times, and... It was stated that it would be the fourth and final one. You know, the fourth one would be its last, I should say. And, um, yeah, and of course, um, after a couple times of it, you know, um, being pushed back a little, like, it turns out that, well, it seems like, you know, hopefully, yeah, we got an actual date for it, and it was going to come out uh, in October of last year. Um, but then, out of nowhere, and not to mention... For last year, uh, last year's list of, like, Halloweenish films I reviewed, I was going to include the fourth Hotel Transylvania film, and because, well, I, I, I included the, the first three. So, yeah, I reviewed the first three, and, you know, in celebration, and, of course, you know, when Hotel Transylvania 4 was coming out, but when October arrived, we all know that it, it got pushed back again, and, yeah, that really pissed me off because I was very, I was very anxious to, you know, go see this in theaters and, you know, of course, include this, you know, to last year's list of, you know, Halloweenish films that I'd be reviewing. But, of course, eventually, like, I reviewed Halloween Town 2, it took the four films place, you know, you get the point, so. Uh, but finally, you know, we, it finally came out and earlier, very earlier this year in January on Amazon, because Amazon had bought the rights and uh, it came on their platform, you know, it came on Amazon Prime. And I had, of course, you know, I remember like me and my mom, we watched it for the first time and, um, you know, we thought it was pretty good. We thought it was pretty good. And um, yeah, and obviously there are those that act that didn't enjoy this. I understand. Like, it's still hard to believe that the Hotel Transylvania films, they they are heavily mixed. Like, you know, there are those that just don't really enjoy these films, but there are those, like myself, that do enjoy these films. The jokes are pretty good, and the characters are very likable, and so on. And these movies do have heart. So, yeah. And this does, too. But the... But what... Okay, so what happens in the fourth film? And the story. After one experiment, Johnny turns into a monster and everyone else becomes human. Now, it has to be seen whether they will be able to reverse this experiment. Yep. At this point, uh, in, the th in the fourth film, Dracula is about to uh, have Mavis and Johnny uh, take over and be in charge of the hotel because Dracula is soon to retire, and he panics especially because of johnny um because at this point like yeah because um how dracula feels about johnny and like how hyper hyperactic he is you know what i'm saying he, he's just not sure if he wants to, to to let johnny take over the hotel and what johnny could do to the hotel you get my point um and that's when yeah um I think even, yeah, because even Johnny gets the feeling, like, even, of course, it was shown in the trailer, it was obviously shown that, you know, like, Johnny doesn't feel like he doesn't fit in or anything like that. And that's when uh, Van Helsing, of course, steps in and 
you know, you want to be a monster, huh? And Van Helsing has this um, device, you know, the monster ray, and it turns him into a monster, of course. But of, and of course, Dracula finds out about this. Uh, he was going, Jonathan, Jonathan was going to show Mavis, but, you know, Dracula was trying to stop him using the ray, the monster ray to turn him back into human. But at one point, Dracula accidentally, like, hits it on himself, like, it hits on him accidentally, and he turns into a human, too. So, and yeah, and Johnny had a good point, like, you know, saying it it was like, freak, it's like Freaky F Friday, but on a Tuesday. Technically, yeah, it's it's something like that. It's like a Freaky Friday uh, thing. Um, even say um, the rest of the other characters, the monster group, you know, J Drax friends, they turn into humans, too. Wayne, Griffin, Murray, and... Uh, Frank, yeah, this it, it, it's it's really cool, like seeing them in human form, and especially Griffin. We finally see Griffin, aka the Invisible Man. We finally see what he looks like, and it's pr he's pretty funny looking. Just you know what he? It's just funny to see how he looks, no longer invisible. And I think yeah, the same. And well, the same goes for everybody else, even Blobby. Well, you'd wonder if Blobby's gonna turn to a human, but. He just turns into a regular piece of jello. So, <laughs> uh, and you know, he's even given like uh, eyes, you know, pretend eyes. You get my point. Um, one thing I will point out, of course, and it's, of course, it's well known in this film this is the only Hotel Transylvania film where Adam Sandler and. Uh, Kevin James, they, they do not reprise their roles as Drac and Frank. This time, in the fourth and final film, Drac is voiced by Brian Hall, who we all know, um, most notably, of course, on YouTube. He's done a lot of voice impressions, and yeah, he does a spot-on uh, Dracula impression. And, you know, when you hear his Dracula, like, compared to, compared to his Dracula and Adam Sandler's Dracula voice, you can't tell which is which. And that's amazing. I, I like that, you know, because, as I said, Brian, Brian Hall, he does a spot-on Dracula impression, like, sounding like how Adam, what, what Adam Sandler brought to the voice of Drac. So, and Frankenstein, well, Frank for short, um, as I said, not being voiced by Kevin James, unfortunately, um, this time Frank being voiced by Brad Abrell, if I'm saying that right, like, he's a voice actor, too, and you know, I don't think you could even tell if it's, whether if it's Brad or Kevin, just, you know. I think, yeah, Brad did a pretty good impression of, uh, of, like, Kevin James, you know, voicing Frank. You get my point. Um, but, of course, the rest of the other, the rest of the cast from the last films, of course, come back. Adam, I'm sorry, Andy Samberg, Selena Gomez, of course, as Mavis, and again, Andy, Andy Samberg is Jonathan slash Johnny, uh, Catherine Hahn as Erica, who we saw in the the last film, and, you know, Drac and Erica, they got married. And Jim Gaff, Gaffigan, if I'm saying his last name right, as Van Helsing. Steve Buscemi as Wayne, and Molly Shannon as Wanda, Wayne's wife. David Spade, of course, as Griffin. Uh, Keegan-Michael Kay, once again, as Murray. Um, and Fran Drescher, if I'm saying her last name right, as... E, 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 oh my gosh! How can I not? How can I not pronounce her this character? The character's name, um, e, Frank's wife. E, Eons. E, I'm sorry. I, how did I forget the? How did I forget how to pronounce her name? I am deeply sorry. Um, and if I recall, um, I think for Dennis, I may be wrong. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Like he did voice. Okay, it's the same voice. Asher. Blinkoff, um, Blinkoff, I think I got that right, because, you know, Blink off, like, yeah, he, of course, reprises the role of, uh, Dennis, and, uh, this time, Winnie, uh, Wayne and Wanda's daughter, and, you know, it seems like, yeah, a relationship going on between Dennis and Winnie. Dennis, uh, Winnie, instead of, uh, one of Adam Sandler's daughters, like, voicing Winnie, it's, uh, you know, a, kid voice actress by the name of Zoe Barry as, you know, she's now the voice of Winnie. You know, and I was kind of thinking that, speaking of Dennis and Winnie, I was hoping that 
for the fourth and final film, maybe they would let Dennis and Winnie grow up a bit, like maybe up to, say, teenagers, and how where their, rela where their relationship would go. But no, unfortunately, um, they in the fourth film, they're still kids, so but that's a shame, you know, but that's okay. Um, and of course, Gen Gendy uh, Trukovsky, yeah, he of course reprises the role of uh, Blobby, and this is the only Hotel Transylvania film where he did not direct. So, um, he, like, stayed on as producer, obviously. So, anyways, um, and so the, the Monster Ray device with, with a crystal, you know, it runs out and, uh, Johnny and Dracula, they have to go to the jungle to find uh, another, um, crystal, a red, like, red, shiny, like, sparkling, glowing crystal, basically, uh, so that way they can turn back into their normal selves. Um, eventually, of course, like, Mavis and Erica, they find out that, well, Wayne and Frank and the rest, like, they turned into humans, and, and, of course, Drac and, um, Johnny, Johnny, who is now a monster, um, and there are a few moments where it's, like, hinted, like, something's up with Johnny, like, he's, like, acting a little bit not like himself a couple of times, like, his eyes turn into red and, like, <sighs> like, breathing fire. It's a hint at what will happen to him a little bit later in the film. The jokes in this and the fourth film are pretty funny, too. Like, you know, a good one is, like, you know, when they're in the jungle and Dracula's struggling and hitting, like, twigs or like stubbing his toe or you know like having to deal with mosquitoes it was funny and just like like it just it's hilarious and even when johnny is tries to get it on his nose but he ends up like whacking him unconscious <laughs> um even say when he when oh yeah drac is dying of thirst and he like finds like a beautiful like like river and with a and with a waterfall he jumps in but it turns out there were piranhas but at least yeah johnny had a did still like had a point saying you know at least you're not hot anymore yeah he was wet and nice and freshly wet from the wood from the water so yeah to cool him off um yeah it's really funny because again with with the with the monsters turning into humans and dracula how he looks as human like <laughs> with the hair and no longer the teeth and, and like a bit of a belly like coming kind of coming out <laughs> it's funny it really is um yeah and even like say almost every the entire cast like tagging along like finding going off to find drac and johnny like you know those include mavis erica of course uh Wayne Griffin, Wanda, uh, well, the wives tag along, Frank and Wayne's, um, Murray, of course, and Murray, when he's, I forgot to mention, when Murray is human, like, he's an old man, like, <laughs> an old man Egyptian, you know, Pharaoh, it's funny, and I think, yeah, even, of course, Keegan-Michael K voicing Murray still, and, like, giving an old man voice, you know, it's pretty funny, um, <laughs> even when, because we see when Griffin, becomes uninvisible and he's completely naked and he's like puts on clothes it's funny and having to hold on to blobby who's just a plain piece of gel so um and this yeah and especially they're writing they're all writing on erica's like like monster killing blip basically you know well erica no longer well this it this it goes for her and her great grandfather van helsing no longer monster hunters and so on and yeah i forgot to mention like at first van helsing tested the ray on his pet gerbil um Gigi, yeah and turns into this like giant like purplish like like m giant hamster like monster you know uh getting a little rambunctious and even when oh yeah i forgot to mention like at one point like when drac is chasing johnny through the hotel um, he puts, a he puts Dennis and Winnie on, you know, hip, hip, hypnotizes them, like, you know, the, yeah, the beast was not your father. <laughs> it was funny. Um, and, uh, eventually, of course, like, well, there's a bit of, eventually, like, you know, after what Johnny and Dennis, they, I'm sorry, not Dennis, Drac, what they've been through, 
um, eventually, like, they seem to start bonding a bit, even when they're at the campfire. And that's when, of course, Mavis and everybody, they come in. Drac is, is surprised, of course, to see that his monster friends, they turn into humans. And that's when, you know, Drac is kind of in on the spot, like, of why he didn't make that big announcement of, you know, giving the key to Johnny and Mavis to run the hotel. And instead, he made a... He, he lied and made an, another announcement saying that the hotel was is expanding, gonna put a new, another bathroom in. And basically, Dracula comes out and says that he panicked, and that's when Johnny starts to realize that, well, at first, like, uh, Dracula lied to Johnny about a monster real estate. It never existed. And that's when, yeah, Johnny realizing that, and he realizes that, you know, Drac was never gonna give the hotel to Johnny and, well, Mavis, but mostly on, to, to Johnny, basically, mostly to Johnny. Um, and of course, that's when something really strikes Johnny and he turns into a vicious, rambunctious monster and they, they gotta move fast to get the crystal. And of course, they eventually, like, throughout, like, driving through the jungle and, you know, in driving in the, like, floating in the water, you know? And even say what seems like, yeah, their their boat was about to sink. You know, it's half car, half boat, you know, one of those. Um, and um, it was about to sink, and everybody just climbing on top of each other. But they made it to shore, so on land. And that's when they come into this crystal cave, and it really, like, kind of hallucinates them, like, you know, where they are and you know, one of those caves. Of course, you know, Mavis was trying to, like, chase after Johnny because Johnny was loose in the jungle going on a rampage, and she gets Johnny to follow her to where the cave is. And, of course, they find the crystal. Like, Mavis is trying to, you know, turn Johnny back, but it doesn't work at first. And, you know, uh, Johnny, like, breaking through the walls and, like, sunlight beams are coming in and kind of, like, burning Mavis a bit. And with everybody just helping, like, block the light, the sun from, from Mavis. But then eventually, you know, Dracula sacrifices himself and, you know, to save Johnny and talk to him and you are the marshmallow. And that saying that, you know, they, they did actually bond and, you know, Dracula just coming clean and how much, you know, he does like, you know, love Johnny, you know, and accepts him as, as a son-in-law. So... That, that was great. And eventually, of course, yeah, that gets that gets Johnny back to the way he is. He's back to normal. And when he transforms back into his, his good old self, and then when everybody's going home, you know, they're back to their normal selves. Even, I forgot to mention Frank, you know, when he was human, like, he was digging how he looked and with the hairstyle. And even when he turned back to his old self, like, still digging that hairstyle, but his wife, like, you know basically cut his hair back to the way it is. He's not happy about that. And even when when um, Wayne was human, he was pretending to be Walter and didn't want to deal with the kids. He was putting his wife, Wanda, in in the place of, like, taking care of the kids. And, well, when he turned back into Wayne, like, he was, you know, it was his turn to deal with the kids. Like, Wanda's just relaxing, you know, and having a good time, taking a break from taking care of the kids. And, you know, Wayne, he's just like, you know, I miss being Walter. <laughs> it's funny. Um, when, of course, they eventually, when they get back to uh, Hotel Transylvania, and Dracula was about to tell Mavis and Johnny that, you know, he was, of course, officially going to hand over the key and, like, for them taking over and being in charge of the hotel. And right as he was, like, about to say that, you know, like, out of nowhere, and when they make it back, the hotel has been pretty much destroyed because of the hamster Gigi. Yeah, it's it's pretty funny. And that was kind of a that was kind of a sad moment. Like, God, like they came back after all that happening. They come to see that the hotel's destroyed. Wow. Um of course it does have a happy ending to it because, you know, Johnny and Mavis they they do rebuild the hotel, but the outside of course looks exactly the same as before, but in the inside, you know, and according to Mavis, you know, she gets the last line of the film, they made a few adjustments, you know, made a few tweaks and, you know, little changes to the inside, and 
you know, we, we translate to 2D animation as we get a close-up of Drax's eyes, you know. As I said, translates to 2D animation and everything that's been changed in the inside, like, you know, I guess, like, exercise workout and, like, lava lamps hanging on a chandelier. Yeah, pretty funny. Um, yep, and that's how the movie ends, and, uh... Even, like, say, like, right right as, right as before the movie ends, like, when the credits finish, like, yeah, I think it shows the end, and we get, like, Griffin's butt crack. <laughs> it's true, so, if you've watched the whole movie and up to the, up to the credits, so. Oh, man, but with all that being said, yeah, Hotel Transylvania 4, you know, Four Thinkers, um, Transformania, it was pretty good, and... Again, I'm one of those people that actually did enjoy um, this film. And, um, I mean, I can't say it's a masterpiece or anything like that, or the best in the, you know, Hotel Transylvania franchise of the films. I think, yeah, this is enjoyable, and for all ages, definitely. And what about you guys? Like, what did you think of Hotel Transylvania 4, Transformania? Um, what you think? What did you think of my review? Leave comments and give this review a like as always. And I definitely, uh, how do I rate this? Good question. Well, since, yeah, I've been saying that I think it's pretty good, like, you know, as I said, I can't say it's a masterpiece or anything like that. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll give it, uh, uh, yeah, 8 out of 10 stars. 8 out of 10 stars for Hotel Transylvania 4 Transformania. There you go. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Hotel Transylvania 4, Transformania. More reviews coming your way. They're going to be awesome. Keep looking forward, and I'll see you guys in the next video slash review. And, of course, continuing on reviewing Halloweenish films, uh, two left. Two more Halloweenish films left to review. And for the second-to-last Halloweenish film I'll be reviewing, well, let's just say that... It's one of Rob Zombie's films, and let's just say that uh, this one has to do with a certain monster family. You probably know what I'm talking about, so stay tuned for that. Take care, and peace out. <laughs> Welcome to Hotel Transylvania.